In this video, we're going to take a look at the eHoom A10 rear view mirror with full touch screen and front and rear camera. What's up, people? I got a new product for review to share with you guys. This one is by a company named eHoom, and it's an a10 fully touch screen rear view mirror that has front and rear cameras. First, let's get into the box and see what all it comes with. Here's what the inside of the box looks like. First look at this box that they provide. I'm assuming this has got all the wiring and everything. Here's a cleaning cloth for the cameras. Here what looks like the back strap for the mirror and actually looks like they give you a tool to actually tuck the wires so that's pretty nice. I didn't get that with my last one I don't think. They also give you actually little brackets. to uh, stick to run the wires through. You also get wiring this is for looks like the back camera here's an actual 3M mount with two screws I'm assuming that's for the rear camera so yeah you either can mount it with screws or with the 3M tape so that's pretty nice here's the rear view camera pretty decent size and it's got a swivel bracket here here's your power cord for your cigarette lighter and your instructions now let's take a look at the mirror itself here's a look at the mirror Like I said, it's a uh, touch screen. Looks like it has one physical button right here. So it must have the battery charged. I'm gonna pull this uh, protective cover off here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the battery up here in the corner is at one bar. It shows the time, date, and what day it is. Obviously none of that's right because I didn't uh, set it yet. On top here, it's got a place for your power cord, audio video in, your SD card. It actually has another plug here that actually says GPS. There's the back. It's got some nice pads here to rest on your current mirror. And here is the camera, which swivels. So that's nice. I'm going to take this plastic off of here. And actually, with that plastic off, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that camera view is way clearer. So hopefully you guys can see that in the camera. Here we go, here's the settings. I don't know if you guys can see this. So we got video resolution, 1080p, 720p. Got loop recording, exposure, auto screen off, G sensor, parking monitor, format SD card, date and time. All that can be adjusted, language, Default setting, volume, firmware version. It says operation guide and it's got a QR code there. Hit the back button. And it seems to be pretty responsive with uh, the touch screen. So you can go into your files there, anything that's saved to the SD card. Currently I don't have anything on my SD card. I don't have an SD card actually in there yet. 
I wasn't planning on this to power on like it just did. Thought I was going to have to plug it into the cigarette lighter first. First we'll go in and do the time here. So we want 2018. So we got 2018. Okay. Month is 5. Hit okay. 21st. And then the time. Alright guys, so we went ahead and set the time for 4 o'clock, 521 Monday. Alright guys, so real quick, I'm just going to go over some of the specs with you. This uh, mirror is fully touch screen as you guys already seen. The front camera, it swivels and it's supposed to be 1080p. The rear camera, this camera is going to be 720p. So your rear view camera is going to be 720p, a little bit lower resolution than your front camera. It claims that this rear view camera is actually going to give you a wider view of what's behind you than your actual rear view mirror that you currently have in your vehicle. So this is going to cover more blind spots. You can use this as a backup camera. You just hook up the reverse wire to your either your reverse lights or another source and uh, when you put your car in reverse, this will go into reverse mode and it'll show you everything that's behind you for backing up. The camera accepts a micro SD card on the top here and it takes up to a 32 gigabyte card. What's also nice about this um, is if you actually have like a van um, and you've got a bunch of kids in the back and it's hard to see through your rearview mirror because everybody's head's in the way. By using this rear view camera, you'll be able to see exactly what's behind you. All right guys, we're in my truck. We're gonna take the rear view mirror, we're gonna install it in here. That's where I installed the previous mirror. This one right here. So when I used to have kinda same setup, except like I said, this one actually has physical buttons here. And the new one has the touch screen, better camera, better audio. And uh, we're going to see how it works. If you guys seen my last video, seen how easy it is to install these. They're plug and play. Nothing too hard. So we're going to take it all back out of here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install it. Alright guys, one thing I do want to point out. But my problem was because when you put it on your rear view mirror, it has to be offset a little bit because of this camera. As you guys will see, it actually doesn't cover the mirror all the way. So that's the same problem I had with the last camera, or rear view mirror. It's not a huge deal, but just so you guys know, majority of cars, this is gonna cover it totally, and it'll look better. But for trucks, I'm in my Dodge Ram right now, this mirror is, it's longer. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these rubber straps here. They go on the back of the mirror. As you can see, it just wraps around to keep it in place. Super simple. All right, so next, I got my power cord, plugs into your cigarette lighter. For testing purposes, I'm not going to uh, tuck any of the wires or anything. All right guys, just for test purposes, I just got it on there with uh, two-sided tape. And then uh, this is actually my camera I've had now, my backup camera that I had for, I don't know, over a year and a half. It was pretty easy for me to hook up this back camera just because I already had a reverse camera hooked up. But anybody that wants to know, there's just two wires on this back camera. It's a black wire and a red wire. That black wire, you're just gonna ground, ground it to your chassis, uh, make sure it's a clean piece of metal and just ground it. The red wire is gonna go to a reverse uh, power signal. So what I ran it to was my trailer 
hitch has a wiring harness all I did was I found out which wire was the reverse signal power that was my purple wire on my Dodge Ram um, you guys can tap into your trailer harness or you can tap into your reverse uh, signal wire here whenever you put your car in reverse and your bulb turns on that's the signal so if you can tap into that just tap into that it's real easy it's not too hard don't be intimidated by it all right here we go guys we're gonna turn it on well right there you're looking at the back camera there's your time your date and your day over here you got a red light blinking that shows you that it's recording and that's your view you're getting right there it's a pretty wide view of what's behind you if you want to go to the front just swipe and that takes you to the front camera but this uh, rear view camera does give a wide angle a lot wider than your normal rear view a regular rear view mirror there so you can see a lot more behind you it's kind of like a wide angle and it does work as you guys can see show you one more time the touchscreen features there's your back cam you want to go to your front cam just swipe it there's the front cam your back cam and if you want to adjust that you just swipe up or down and it changes the point of view of the camera so that's pretty nice just tap it one time to get into your menu now what I want to show you guys is what happens when I put the vehicle in reverse and we'll be able to compare that with my backup camera down here as far as the point of view and how well this works As soon as you start it up, you can see it goes right into record mode, so you don't even have to mess with it. Put it in reverse, and there's your backup camera right there. There's my original backup camera. And then there's the rear view mirror backup camera. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drive around for a little bit, record some footage of these cameras during the daytime, and then what I'll do is I'll record some night uh, video. I can see everything behind me. It's pretty wide view. Switch to the front. There's the front. Pretty impressed. Now I'm switching to the back should see a truck behind me pulling up should see a truck behind me pulling up hopefully the video off the SD card will look as good as the video that's on this screen right now because it's pretty clear no complaints previous rearview mirror you couldn't hear really very good at all the audio was real uh, bad and distorted hopefully you guys can hear me on this um, one thing I did notice is while driving as you're looking at the actual screen oh Taco Bell yep so as you're looking at the screen, if you actually kind of angle downwards, instead of going, if you're, if you're looking straight on to the rear view mirror, if you actually angle downwards, you actually still can see the reflection like a rear view mirror. So you don't totally lose your rear view mirror. It's just a different angle that you actually can access your rear view mirror. It's kind of weird. It's hard to explain. But you still surprisingly can use your rear view mirror as a mirror. 
you can obviously can mount this uh, the rear camera in a lot of different places I was actually contemplating on mounting it inside the vehicle firing out the back window so actually I'll get the view of the bed of my truck and what's behind me but since I can see the reflection like a regular rear view mirror this is fine the way it's set up with the camera on the back bumper it's gonna be nice if this audio is better than my previous uh, rear view mirror because I like the fact that if a cop pulls you over or something that you can at least still record the audio you might not be able to get the video of it but you can record the audio of actually what's going on between you and the police officer um, just to use for a little protection for yourself just in case uh, something happens out of the norm or the cop acts a little bit out of the norm uh, maybe you could use that as proof in a court of law I'm not sure but it'd be nice hey we don't have a uh, coke product um, mango tea is it what you got there's a mango something that you guys got but all in all I'm really impressed with this uh, dash cam rear view mirror no I'm good with the sauce It blows away the right, there you go. Thanks. the quality of the other mirror that I previously had. What's up? You gave me the wrong one? All right, I'll keep this. <laughs> Thanks, man. You too. So we got a free pop out of that one because they fucked up. But I'm not going to complain. Anyways, all in all, so far so good. I'm liking what I see. I'm going to uh, do some night driving, record some of that, get some footage hopefully, upload it all, and hopefully what's recording on the SD card is as good as what I'm seeing in this uh, screen. Alright guys, so this is our first run at the night vision all right we just turned down a uh, side street it's a little bit darker you see how the footage is Alright guys, well that's it for my review. Hope you guys liked it. Sorry it was so long. Had a lot to cover on this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hit, let, hit that like button if you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.